And on the other flank, Alan St. Maxman had another fantastic game. We have been very harsh on him in recent weeks and recent months. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to take anything back that I've said about him. Um, we also said it was a big end to the season for him because if his performances didn't improve, we could well see him being sold in the summer. Now, the last few weeks, he's hitting that consistent patch that he needs to, I think, to secure his place for next season. And it comes with a little bit of frustration because it's like, well, where's the, where's this been? I know he's been injured, but he's, he's also had enough time, I think, um, to, to, to perform. It's just fantastic to see him putting in yet another top performance. He's, he, you know, he's thinking about it. He's not being greedy. He's making the right pass, the right decisions at cross, a bit of footwork, brilliant. Back defending last night when it, when he needed to be as well. And I'm just hoping we see that again on Saturday if he plays, then against Villa, and it just keeps rolling. Because if he can hit those highs, he's in the starting 11. He is in the starting 11. And he's, you know, he's one of the best players um, that Newcastle United have got. We just need to see it on a more consistent basis. And last night was another step towards that. Yeah, look, I, I, I'm going to agree with you in the sense that I, I won't take anything back. We have been very harsh on him, but I think it's because we know he can put in performances like that. We know he can put in performances like he did against Manchester United on Sunday. But this is what we've been asking for, consistency. And, you know, you said it on Monday that he could easily have turned around last night and had a stinker. He could easily turn around and have a stinker against Brentford. But it's really good to see that he's actually building some consistency He's clearly playing with a lot of confidence again. He looks much, much fitter um, than any other season I've seen him playing in a castle shirt. If he can do it against Brentford and then do it against Villa and there's just no drop-off between now and, and May, he's he stays at the club. I know he's one of their only sellable assets and there's, there is interest in him from you know abroad and I'm sure a lot of Premier League clubs would, would fancy taking him. But as you said... When he plays like that last night, when he plays against he did against Manchester United, he fits in this team perfectly. Um, and he's starting to... I think the last couple of months, he, we've noticed that he's started to look a bit restricted in this team. He's trying to change his game. He's starting, for me, to strike that balance between knowing when to take a player on and get to the byline and knowing actually when to give it and, and go. And I feel like we're just seeing the old maxi, you know, which is what we've been asking for for months. And John says, very interesting watching St. Maximum recently. He seems far less selfish with the ball now that there's a greater quality around him. Great to see. And it, and, it, and it is. And it's interesting because obviously last summer it was all about Newcastle wanting this right winger. Um, Musa Derby, top of the list sort of thing. Miggy stepped up and then suddenly, you know, the, the, the need for a winger isn't as pressing. And then you could arguably say the same about you know, the left side, you know, obviously they've gone out and got Anthony Gordon who fits in there. Um, but if, if Miggy, con if, sorry, if St. Maxman continues, then the need for maybe another forward in, in the sense of where he plays isn't as, as pressing. And maybe he's, he's realised that just like Almiron did that, they're going to have to step up and, and prove their worth. We've said, if, it feels like every couple of months we end up saying, oh, look, it's a huge couple of months for St. Maximum. You know, he's really got to play for his future now. This time around, he really does because, as you say, you've got Gordon, Anderson, Joel Linton and the threat of a of a new sort of left midfielder coming in the summer. You've got all that to consider. Maxi's stepped up, um, as Miggy did at the start of the season. As you say, it takes less pressure off the recruitment you know, team to find a, a replacement for him. As we've said, it's just all about doing it consistently. Now, if he can continue this form till the end of the season, I think he stays beyond the summer.